In this video, we're going to have a look at the requirements for Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. At the time of recording, Microsoft's Applied Skills Assessments now total 23. So some of the differences between the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments and standard Microsoft certifications are that the assessments focus on one particular skill, as opposed to certifications which give you a wide range of skills in a particular topic. You can also do it for free. So let's have a look at one example. So we've got here the Create and Manage Canvas apps with Power Apps. So all of these are level around intermediate. Now you can see that there are six tasks to be performed, all about creating a free screen Canvas app. Now there is a Microsoft Learning Path, and I'll talk more about this learning path in a moment. Now, this range of tasks doesn't give you all of the detail that you need. Now, the learning path does help, but if I scroll down, then in May 2024, this new section appeared, a study guide for the applied skills. So if I click on this, you can see that these six tasks have been broken down. So configure a gallery, for instance, add a gallery control, connect an existing gallery to a data source, configure fields, configure navigation. So it gives you some more focus as to what you're supposed to be learning. Now you can use the same learning paths. However, notice what it says at the top. Note that the learning path on the credentials detail page may include more modules than the tasks performed to provide a cohesive learning experience. So if I could just translate that, these modules have not been created for this specific Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment and we're just reusing them. So you can see this first one is in the App in a Day Instructor led training and is part of five different learning paths. So it's not specific to this particular Microsoft Applied Skills and none of them are except when you have got at the end of the learning path a guided project, which this one does. So here you can see a guided project. And I think these guided projects are very valuable because they test your skills before you get into the actual assessment. So let's say I wanted to do this particular Microsoft Applied School Assessment. Unfortunately, four of these 23 assessments are currently undergoing maintenance and have been since late March. So at the time of recording, that's currently three months. So you'd expect if somebody was expanding this task list that the detailed version would be based on this task list. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened in every instance. So let's have a look, for instance, at Power Automate. Create and manage automated processes by using Power Automate. This is another one which is not currently available. So the number of tasks you can see are five. However, when I go down to the study guide, you can see the number of tasks, one, two, three, and that's it. So you have to work out what the last two tasks are. Though, thankfully, these two are moderately self-explanatory. So let's have a look at the AI vision. So here we have build an Azure AI vision solution. And We've got five tasks in the summary. Let's go to the detail. And this is one which is unexpectedly undergoing maintenance. Wasn't one of those which have been going under maintenance for ages. And you can see that there are six tasks. The last one is analyze video. And you'll notice that while analyze video is part of the learning path, it is not part of the requirements in the task performed. Next, let's have a look at the Azure AI document intelligence. And this is the right number of tasks. And we've got five tasks. The last one, extract key value pairs. So let's just click on the study guide and you can see we do indeed have five tasks. The last one, however, is not extract key value pairs but we've got programmatically analyzed data and form. Okay, they're in a different order. 
Let's just have a look at the requirements for programmatically analyzed data in form. First of all, we've got to retrieve the endpoint, then we've got to download a set of documents from a storage endpoint. Later on, we have to download a set of documents from a storage endpoint. Okay, slight duplication there. We then need to send the documents to the read OCR model, which is part of the document intelligence, and then send the extracted text to the language service, which is a completely different service and has its own Microsoft applied skill. So you'd have to do that programmatically in a form, which means you then need to create the language service and then retrieve the endpoint for the language service model before sending the extracted text. This seems to be a very run on list of requirements and is no longer really focused on the Azure AI Document Intelligence Service, which is what these Microsoft applied skills should be. They should be focused on a very narrow set of skills. Speaking of the Azure AI language, we've got three tasks. And you'll notice that the learning path is very long, seven hours and four minutes for these three tasks. So unsurprisingly, if you go to the study guide, you'll notice that there are five tasks. So we've got here a mismatch between the tasks which are required on the main page and the study guides. So if you are going to study for Microsoft Applied Skill Credential, then I suggest you follow both the tasks required and one of these 24 study guides. 24, but I thought there were only 23 applied skills. Well, Microsoft have added documentation for a 24th skill which is not yet being offered, and that is Administer Active Directory Domain Services, or ADDS. So this is a sneak peek as to a new skill that you could learn. Well, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did and would like more assistance on your Microsoft Applied Skills journey, then please go to our website, idodata.com, where we have got currently eight different courses relating to Microsoft Applied Skills. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then why not give it a like? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In the next video, we'll have a look in more detail at one of the more popular Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment, developing generative AI solutions, GenAI, with Azure Open AI Service. If you'd like to see that, then please click the link at the end of this video, or click the playlist to see more about Microsoft Applied Skills. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching, and keep learning.